Well, as you can see, I am coming to you today with no fiber on my hair. <laughs> Ageless Restyling. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm getting ready to go meet some friends for, let's see, a late lunch, kind of an early dinner, just some girlfriends getting together. Well, as you can see, I am coming to you today with no fiber on my hair. <laughs> I am going to be wearing a cap today. Sorry, Tanya. She don't like when I wear caps because she said, it could potentially damage the baby hairs that are coming up but it's just for today it's not something that I do daily but I do want to show you guys you know that before I do this let me say for those of you who are watching me and new to my channel I did a video about my hair loss and my bald and you know losing my hair and going bald and the process of what I did to help reverse it so I'm going to show you where we are today so this is where we are I am just loving to see my little baby here is coming in. Oh, I'm so excited. So I think I did my last treatment um, that, that, that I showed you about a week or so ago. And y'all, it's coming in. It's coming in slowly but surely. I didn't put any fibers on my hair today because I am going to wear a cap. I don't know how the cap is going to look with the outfit. If I don't like the cap with the outfit, then I'll have to put a little bit of fiber. But as you can see, it's coming in. Cause y'all, I, I had no hair here. I was bald here. I had essentially male pattern baldness. And since I started my treatments, it's coming back in slowly but surely. Patience is a virtue. So anyhow, that's not why you're here today. You came to see me get dressed. So. I, like I said, I'm heading out to meet some friends for a late lunch, early dinner, and I may carry you guys along with me. I'm going to get dressed, and I'm going to go meet them, and then I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and get dressed. So today, I am going to wear this shirt. This is a men's button down that I thrifted a while ago. And so let me go ahead and put this on, and I'll be right back. Ooh. <laughs> So the button down is on, as I said, it's an oversized men's button down that I thrifted from Goodwill because all my men's button down primarily thrifted from Goodwill. I love the oversizedness <laughs> of it, but I am going to roll up the sleeve. Now, initially, I was just going to wear this oversized shirt put some sandals on and call it a day. However, change of plans. One of my followers on Facebook, I, I'm on Facebook too, you guys, Ageless Restyling. One of my followers on Facebook asked me to style a monochrome look using black, white, cream, tan, colors like that. So I said, you know what, Sharon? This will be the great opportunity to do that. Because this shirt is, is, is a tan. So maybe you could, you know, do that monochrome look that was requested. Because I have this. I have this skirt that I've had for about, how long has my niece been married? I purchased this skirt to go to my niece's wedding. She had a black and she wanted all her guests to wear black stunning gorgeous beautiful wedding so i purchased this skirt from ross and um i wore a black top with it that was the only time i wore this skirt so i purchased it to wear to the wedding never wore it again and she's been married i think what six years how long we i think niece have been married lord okay i think let's go six years so i've had this skirt in my closet six years or more if I'm wrong about it <laughs> it's at least six and I wore it to the wedding never wore it again and I said it's such a shame because it is a beautiful skirt and I'd like to dress it down and wear it again so since I got that request for the black and tan or cream 
um, styling video, I said, why don't you put this skirt on with this because this button down would dress it down and see how it looks. So let's see y'all, let's see how this looks. Let's see if it's gonna work. <laughs> this is a test. <laughs> The emergency broadcast. What they used to do that years ago? The emergency broadcast system. It's a test. <laughs> I love this skirt. But you know, you don't get all those formal occasions to go to to wear a skirt like this. So you got to dress them down. Find, find ways to dress them down and still wear them. Oh. Thing about this skirt y'all <clears throat> is that like I said I've had this skirt now for six years the waist still fits fit yay but it used to have pockets but somehow <laughs> the hips the butt some my lower off spread <laughs> you know the middle age spread well in my case it's past middle age the old woman spread so I have the old woman spread down here so the pockets was gaping open and I didn't like that because you could see the fabric on the inside. I didn't like the fact that the pocket was gaping open. So I sewed it down. Let me tell you something, my junior high school sewing skills from home economic can, comes in handy sometimes. So I went ahead and I sewed the pocket down. That really hurt me because I hate to lose a pocket because I love pockets, but I didn't like the gaping of it because I got a little spread down here. But the key thing is, the waist still fit. <laughs> okay, so what do you think of this? What do y'all think? I think it works. Okay, let's finish this styling this up. So, this is the shoes I was going to wear if I had just wore the shirt as a dress. My Schutz shoes. And I think... They should still work with this skirt. And I, I have to wear high heels with this skirt because as you can see, it's very, 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 very long. So let me put my shoes on and then I'll be right back. I am not going to have you guys sit and watch me while I struggle. Look, I'm even struggling to figure out how it should go. So let me put the shoes on, my shoots, shoes, and I'll be right back. Y'all, I'm so glad I decided not to do that on camera. It was like watching paint dry, trying to see me figure out how to tie this thing up. <laughs> Anyhow, whew, it's done. And I think the shoes is perfect. The height of it is perfect. And I think it works. Did I make, did I dress it down enough with this oversized shirt? Oh, let me show you guys this. My queen heart. We're all queens. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. So, let's see which cap I want to wear. Before I put my earrings on, let me see which cap I'm going to wear. Because I think the cap determines the earring. And even if the, you know, even if the cap look good. I want to do a cap, but is it going to look good? Let us see. All right. What do you think of this one? Oh, I got to remember this skirt is long. What do you think of this cap? A baseball cap. I'm, I'm trying to make the tone down the skirt, you know, make it more casual as much as possible. So here's the baseball cap. Here is my other cap. Okay. Yeah, like I think I prefer this cap versus the baseball cap. Look at this one. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> With my big ears, I got big ears, but it's okay. They allow me to hear. <laughs> better than the um and the baseball cap so now that we figured out the cap let's figure out the earrings let's see here 
here. Because I the, because of the cap, I have some stuff going on. All right. Let me put one on. Now let's see if this is too much with the cap or should I go simple? Because y'all know I'm team too much, right? Okay. Because I, I, I get carried away. I, I, I could easily, easily go overboard with everything when I'm getting dressed. All right. Here is this one. But I actually think this one is team too much. Yeah, team too much. I, I think it is. Yep. It's most definitely team too much. All right. So here is another one. Let's try this one. Let's see. Oh, come on. Get in there. Get in there. I just don't like this one at all. See? I I I, I just don't like it at all. Alright. So let's try the last one. Oh my goodness, if this one doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board, go back to my jewelry, and see what else. Maybe just a uh, gold stud, you know? But I, I just so much love my dangly dangly earrings. <laughs> oh, that sometimes a simple stud is all that's needed. It's not all about overdoing it, Sharon. Sometimes simplicity works. I saw me talk to myself, you know. Sometimes you talk to yourself. It's not mean to your mind, you know. You just a talk. <laughs> um, I think I like this one. I don't know. I think I like this one. Because it kind of, um, it's the same as the necklace. What do you think? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, shit. Yeah. I think I just need a simple gold stud. Let me go get a gold stud. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got my gold stud. And you know, I knew that's what I needed. I don't know why I just didn't bring them in. But uh, I'm always trying to do too much. <laughs> when sometimes simplicity is all that's needed. It's the only thing that's needed. Now, oh geez, Amber, what am I doing here? Getting all tangled up and everything else. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure this is what I need. Just a simple full set. Yep. This is all that was needed. I feel good about this. And I knew it. <laughs> I was just trying to do too much with the other earrings. Let me see if I could. Uh oh. I thought I put the back in, it wasn't on. Whoop. Don't rip your skirt, Sharon. All right, why is this one not working? I tell you the struggle. One went in fine, the other one is loose. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here is the gold stud. Simple. That's all I needed. I don't know what was wrong with me. All right. Get my cap. The stud. Did I dress this skirt down enough? <laughs> all right, so now bag. Like I said, I'm really trying to dress the skirt down. So I could wear, make, wear it in the daytime for day wear. Casual maxi skirt. So I brought two bags in. One is my Kurt Geiger straw bag. Your waist is even a little bit big, Sharon. <laughs> so here's a Kurt Geiger straw bag. I'm just heading to the market. <laughs> and then I have this straw clutch. What do you think? 
I didn't want to carry a black bag. I just, because I think that would not dress it down. So, but I think I like the straw cup. I think I like the straw clutch. Yeah, I think it's going to be the straw clutch. It's going to be the straw clutch. All right, so now let's put the stuff in the bag. So since this is a clutch, how much can I fit in there? Obviously, I'm going to need my wallet, my car key, house key, compact, my um, brush. Oh, yeah, the lipstick I'm wearing. Let me touch up a bit, just a little bit. Uh, All right, and this is um dark chocolate. Who is this? Lipstick? Oh, Bobby Brown dark chocolate. Hmm, Bobby Brown dark chocolate. And then I just put a hint of this gloss on it. La Ritzy, La Ritzy. Okay, so I need that. I need my tripod, my earbud, my cuticle oil. Oh, I need to bring my sunglasses in. Hold on, it's a sunny day today, and I'm gonna need some sunglasses. So let me go grab one, grab a pair or two to kind of decide. So I'll be right back again. Okay, you guys. <laughs> I went a little hog wild. I picked out a couple sunglasses. I, I'm, I wasn't sure. <laughs> so, don't be breaking the glass glasses. All right, so let's see. I got my Versace. I don't know. I, I don't think I like this one. No, 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 no. No. All right, and who is this? Another Versace, yeah. Okay, what do you think of this one? I like this one better than the first one, but I'm not sure. And then we have this one, who is this? Oh, this is about Balmain, Balmain, Balmain. What do you think? I think I like this one because the color picks up the color in the cap. <laughs> what do you think? Is it this one? Because it's and it's simpler. But I'm still not a hundred percent. Hold on. I will be right back. I'm not a hundred percent. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. I got two more pair. As I was trying to find two more two more pair that might work, I thought of my mother. <laughs> she used to say, the problem is you have too much. Because if you have one pair of shoes, that's the only pair of shoes you're going to wear. You don't have to worry about which one, which one. But when you have too much, this is a problem. Ah, that lady. Okay. Anyhow. I think I like this one. Who is this? I can't see. I can't see who this is. I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow, the name is on here, but I can't see. So, here it is. I think this is Jimmy Choo. Oh no, sorry, it's not Jimmy Choo. <laughs> it's Celine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so here it is. Here is this one. Okay. I like this one because it's it's simple. Alright. <sighs> and the last one. The Fendi. Okay, here is here is this one. <sighs> and for me, it's this one. When I put this one on, it just 
just felt right. Yeah, so for me, it's the Fendi. I am that person that when I put something on and it feels right, I know it. <laughs> Sometimes I may go with something, it doesn't necessarily feel right, but I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go with it. But what, there are times when you put something on and it's like, yep, that works. And that was these for me. The last one, yay! Okay, so now, and I didn't bring the case in yet because I was unsure, so let's see, what perfume am I gonna wear? Um, let's see what we have. Oh, let's go with um, Jo Malone right here, and it's dark, am dark amber, and ginger lily. Oh, mm. smells so good. Oh. My sister talk about the way how I spray perfume. She said I use the, almost the whole bottle. <laughs> but you guys, the, oh, okay, I'm done. This smells so, so, so good. So good. So this is my look. This is my look. Heading out to meet the girls for late lunch, early dinner. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me, so let's go. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting less camera shy. Hey, now. so here I am meeting my girls. Come on, ladies, it's my girls. <laughs> We're having a late lunch together, early dinner. Yeah, I remember Kim from Barcelona. <laughs> hey, Ellen. Let me ask the bartender. I don't think we do this. I'll ask her. Yeah, don't I have some of the most beautiful friends? So have you ever been to Sea Breeze? Yeah, we went once. That was nice. You been to Sea Breeze? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one right there, you can go every year. Yeah. Oh, you gotta let me know when you go to. Oh, you had two different. I went to. Yeah, I went. Oh yes, I did. I went to the Piedmont Park. That's every year. Yeah, yeah. every year. And, 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 and then Jazz in the Alley is every year. Yeah, and they do it once a month. <laughs> I think that one is good. I had with this one. Oh, right. Yeah. With the sweet potato? Yeah. Did you have some? Real. You can just put it back. This one right here with a little baked potato? Oh, wow. That's a fisherman's platter. Okay. I'm having the glazed salmon. This is so good. I need to represent for the Libra. We gonna come for me. You know you have to represent for the Libra. <laughs> and I told, I told uh, Kim. That's, that's, that's the Kim was gonna tie. She said, "Well, you know you can do what you gotta do." I said, "Uh huh." I don't really know who I'm working with. Uh huh. No, I'm not coming nowhere near that. I'm gonna come correct. And then I said, wait a minute, am I overdressed? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I, we're never overdressed. Because I had on jeans, and I think it had on some pants with feathers on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I took the outfit off. You already know what you I should have kept them on. But any occasion. I should have kept them on. Am I overdressed? Yeah. <laughs> I saw the people in the park. They, they're underdressed. <laughs> they're, they're not ready. They, they didn't get the memo. Um, they didn't what, get the memo. Thank you. Yeah, the memo. <laughs> I pulled them out. I said, what's up? I said, what's up? I'm not overdressed. You know, I struggle. You never have to feel that way when you're with this group. I really, I struggle with, you know I struggle with casual. I really do. I struggle with, okay, is this casual? <laughs> I struggle with this. And most of the time, I'm, you know, I just came out with clothes. And um, my husband was 
was doing his thing, I was doing mine. I, I, I always, I don't even worry about what other people do anymore. Mm -mm. I just you come, can do your own thing. I just, I, do do own thing. I come correct. I feel. I, I, I just decided to just leave that alone. But now you're gonna drive yourself crazy, girl. Absolutely, and I'm not gonna cry myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had an amazing time with my friends. The meal were delicious. The company was great. We really had fun. It's great when we all can just get together, break, break bread, and get caught up. So I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining me today. If you've not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to my subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. We are 1000 plus strong. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I could not have done it without you at all. Remember to thumbs up, comment and share. And until the next time, this is Sharon saying bye-bye. <laughs>